Hello everyone! In this video I would like to show you how you can use the simulation to model the effects of a conflict on civilian infrastructure. If there is a nuclear conflict, it will not only kill a lot of people directly, but it will also destroy the underlying infrastructure supporting our life. There are different types of objects available in the simulation. If you go to visualization options, objects, you can see a number of objects that you can display. First, let's show the refineries. Now you can see these brown icons where refineries are located in the real world and the, their size displays their capacity. If you only want to show refineries with a specific capacity, you can enter it here. Let's enter uh, some large number and you will see that some of the refineries uh, are disappearing and now we only show refineries with this minimum capacity. We can also show power plants. Again, the size displays the uh, capacity of the power plant and we again can filter them and the color is showing us the type of the power plant. So nuclear, nuclear power plants are red here then brown is uh, fossil fuel power plants, blue is uh, power plants running on hydroelectric power, and green are renewable energy power plants of different types. And again, you can enter a specific number, let's say 50, and you will only show power plants with capacity above 50 megawatts. We can show civilian airports and we can show harbors and again the size of the icon shows the size of the harbor we can also show hospitals and these hospitals are mainly concentrated in cities and what we can also do is we can show change the distance at which the objects will be visible. So if there is a conflict, it will destroy a lot of the military objects and in addition to the military objects, it will destroy a lot of civilian infrastructure. If you go to the simulation settings, you can set how the system will behave. For refineries, you can set the overpressure hardness, which is the threshold at which refineries will be destroyed. You can do the same for power plants, hospitals, airports and harbors. And for refineries, you can additionally set the number of days of stored fuel and how this fuel burns and contributes to the soot in the stratosphere which will then uh, contribute to the cooling and to nuclear winter. So now as the conflict is over we can have to calculate the effects and it will calculate the effects on the population and on the objects of our infrastructure. So now that the calculation is over, we can see what happened to our infrastructure. We can display the physical effects, go to an area uh, which was heavily affected by the conflict and show our different objects. Let's start with power plants, airports and hospitals. And we will see that in the areas affected by the 5 psi overpressure all the objects are destroyed and are displayed grey. So this way we can see which of the objects have been destroyed in this conflict. 
We can also see a summary of these results. If we go to the sum sign in the top right corner, we can go to country and we will see how much of the refining capacity is still active, how much is destroyed. For the power plants, we can see how much of the capacity is still active and how much is destroyed. And we can see how many civilian airports are destroyed, how many hospitals are destroyed, and how many civilian harbors are destroyed. And we can do the same for the world. And here we we'll see an additional information for the soot in the stratosphere. We can see how much of the soot is generated by burning objects like refineries, how much is generated by burning cities, and we can see the total soot. And we can see a summary of the civilian infrastructure capacity for the world. So this is how you can simulate the effect of a conflict on civilian infrastructure. Thank you for your attention.